Hello class, this is another constant coefficient second order homogeneous ODE, but this time I want to show you what happens when we have a repeated root. So let's look at this equation, y double prime plus 6y prime plus 9y equals 0. We do our usual trick, y equals erx. So what happens is that we have, no, uh, oh, let's, let's do it slowly. Um, we have y prime equals r e r x, y double prime equals r squared e r x. So we have r squared plus 6r plus 9 e r x equals 0. And e r x is an exponential, and hence it's always positive, so we can just cancel it out. So let's try the quadratic formula like we did in the past and see what happens. r equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So we have minus 6 plus minus 36 minus 36 is 0 over 2. And here you see that we have a problem already. r is going to be equal to minus 3 and we don't get a second solution. But you know that this is, this is a second order differential equation, so we need to find two linearly independent solutions to get a, to get a general solution. But and not all is lost, we have one solution, y equals e minus 3x is one solution, y1, and you can check that that is true. And I claim that the second solution is going to be y2 equals x e minus 3x. Now first of all, um, we can check that these two solutions are linearly independent. Um, and there are several, there, I mean, there are several ways you can do that. Uh, I, I would suggest looking at x equals 0 and looking at, say, x equals 1. And from there, you can see that it is going to be linearly independent. But this is left as an exercise for you to work out. Um, you can just try to run skin if you want to do that instead. But now we have our general solution of y equals c1 e minus 3x plus c2 x e minus 3x. And it should be straightforward. If you have uh, initial conditions, you can figure out what c1 and c2 are. But anyway, this is our general solution.